Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra math problem for the values of a, b, which is a plus 2 a, b plus b is equal to 9. So, if we will try to find out the value of a and b. How can we solve this algebra math problem? Here, first of all, we multiply 2 in both sides of this equation. So, let's multiply 2 in both sides. So, this become 2 times a plus 2 times a, b plus b is equal to also multiply 2 in the right hand side. So, let's multiply 2 inside. So, this will become 2a plus 2 times 2 is 4. So, this will become 4ab plus this will become 2b is equal to 2 times 9 is 18. So, this will become 18. Now look at two, these two terms here. In these two terms, this 2a is common. So, we will take out 2a common from the first two terms. So, this will become here only 1 is left plus here. 2b is left plus 2b is equal to 18. Now look, now look at to the first term here is 1 plus 2b. So here we will try to make 1 plus 2b here. To make this 2b like this one, here we will add 1 to both sides of this equation. So let us add to both sides of this equation. So this will become. Next we can write this left hand side as 2 a 1 plus 2b plus as we know that the addition of two numbers is commutative so we can write these two terms as 1 plus 2b is equal to 18 plus 1 is 19. Now do we do these two terms here and these two terms 1 plus 2b is common so we will take out 1 plus 2b common from the left hand side so this will become 1 plus 2b here only 2a is left plus here only 1 is left is equal to 19 and we will factorize this 19 so therefore we can write this 19 as product of 1 times 19 and negative 1 times negative 19 so this is the possible factorization of 19 we can also write this 19 as 19 times 1 and negative 19 times negative 1 but both the cases gives him the same solution. So therefore, we will take only these two factorizations. Then we have two possible cases to compare the left hand side with the right hand side. The first case is case 1. Now the first possible case is 1 plus 2b times 2a plus 1 is equal to 1 times 19. And the second possible case is case 2. We will compare this left hand side with this factorization. So this will become 1 plus 2b times 2a plus 1 is equal to negative 1 times negative 19. Now we will solve these two possible cases for the values of a and b. So first we will solve this one case. So here we will take this expression equal to 1 and this expression equal to 19. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is 1 plus 2b is equal to 1. And the second equation is 2a plus 1 is equal to 19. So first we will solve this one equation. So here we move this one to the right hand side. So it will become negative 1. So this will become 2b is equal to 1 minus 1. 2b1 minus 1 is simply 0. So we will divide both sides by 2. So this gives him b is equal to 0. So b is equal to 0 is the first value of b. Now we will solve this one equation. So here we will move this one to the right hand side. So it will become negative 1. So this will become 2a is equal to 19 minus 1. So 2a is equal to 19 minus 1 is simply 18. Now we will divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will be cancelled and 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 9 is 18. So from here we get the value of A is 9. So the first possible solution is A comma B is equal to the value of A is 9 and the value of B is 0. So this is our first possible solution. Now we will try to solve this one case. So again here we will compare this expression with negative 1 
and this second expression with negative 19. So again from here we get two equations. The first equation is 1 plus 2b is equal to negative 1. And the second possible equation is 2a plus 1 is equal to negative 19. So first we will solve this equation. So here we will move this one to the right hand side. So this will become 2a is equal to negative 1 and this will become negative 1. 2 is equal to negative 1, negative 1 is negative 2. Again, we will divide both sides by 2. So this will become 2 and 2 will be cancelled in both sides. So the value of a will become negative 1. Now we will solve this one equation. So here we will move this one to the right hand side. So 2a is equal to negative 19, negative 1. 2a is equal to negative 19, negative 1 is negative 20. Now again, we will divide both sides by 2. So this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled and 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 10 is 20. So this gives some negative 10. So the value of a is equal to negative 10. So here the second possible solution is a comma b is equal to. So this is not a, this is b. So we will replace this a with b. So the value of a is negative 10 and the value of b is negative 1. So here we have these two possible solutions. Now we will try to verify these two possible solutions that as these solutions are the exact and correct solutions or not. So we will verify these solutions here. Let's verify. To verify this one solution here, we will write our problem again. Now our problem is a plus 2 times AB plus B is equal to 9. So here we substitute the value of A is 9 and the value of B is 0. So this will become the value of A is 9 plus 2 times the value of A is 9 and the value of B is 0 plus B is 0 is equal to 9. So this is 9 plus now multiplying 0 with any number it gives him 0. So this will become 0 plus 0. Is equal to 9. Now 9 plus 0 is simply 9 is equal to 9. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that a b is equal to 9 0 are the exact and correct value of a and b. Now here we will try to verify this one solution. So again we will write our problem here. Now our problem is a plus 2 times a b plus b is equal to 9. And here we substitute the value of a is negative 10 and the value of b is negative 1. So this will become value of a is negative 10. So this will become negative 10 plus 2 times the value of a is negative 10 times the value of b is negative 1 plus the value of b is negative 1 is equal to 9. So let's simplify this left hand side. So this will become negative 10 plus no negative 10 times negative 1 is simply 10. Then 10 times 2 is 20. So this will become 20. And further to time negative is negative, so this becomes negative 1 is equal to 9. No. Negative 10, negative 1 is simply negative 11 plus 20 is equal to 9. No. 20 minus 11 is simply positive 9 is equal to 9. But again, both sides are equal, so it means that AB is equal to negative 10, negative 1 is also the exact and correct solution. So finally we have these two possible solutions in this nice and interesting algebra math problem.